channel where everything that glitters is glamorous. Okay. <laughs> so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I recreated this look from a lady that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. Her name is Taylor May Jane. She always gives me like these fun, creative, colorful eye looks wigs tutorial so yes i am a supporter shout out to you but let's get into this look so basically we have like a nice natural face you know light contour light blush a little bit of glow and of course my glossy lips which i love now this eye is super festive and colorful we have a pigmented blue on the cut crease green on the lid with some glitter and on the lower lash line we have a hint of gold and white inside of the lower lash line so yes i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe because you'll be back <laughs> stay tuned i already started my brows i did my brows off camera so now i'm just going to blend them out using my sephora 57 brush I'm going to take my Olay cleanser and I'm going to be applying this all over my face just to give my face a light cleanse, followed by my Witch Hazel, which I use to tone my face to prepare my face to get ready for my application. Now I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Tan Deep. And I'm gonna be applying this all over both of my lids just to prep the lids for when I apply my eyeshadow. Now I'm taking my ear sponge translucent powder mixed with my olive sand benai powder and I'm going to be taking that and applying it onto my lid just to set the concealer that I just placed on top of the lid. And the reason for me setting this concealer on my eyelid is so that we don't have any creasing. You want a flat flawless foundation for when you're applying your eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be going in with my Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be using that darker turquoise blue on the top of my lid and that's going to be my transition color. I'm just dipping my brush back and forth and applying some more products. At the same time, I'm also blending out the color as well and prepping it for the next color that we're about to apply. Now I'm going in with my electric palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to use that pretty pigmented blue right there on the bottom corner and we're going to place this on top of the lid using our Sephora 30 brush and this color is super pigmented. I love this color. Now being that we're using such a pigmented color, I like to use the Sephora 30 brush because it collects all of the product and there's little to no fallout. So as you can see, I'm patting on the eyeshadow. I'm not rubbing it on or brushing it on. I'm patting it onto the lid. And this is going to create the depth of this color and this brightness of the blue that we're trying to create for this eye. I'm going to go back in with that Urban Decay palette and I'm going to take that turquoise green and I'm going to be blending out the royal blue that we just placed onto the lid just because we don't want any demarcation like we want all the eyeshadow to be well blended out. Now I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand and this is what I'm going to use to cut my crease. To apply this concealer, I'm going to use my Morphe M508 brush. And whenever I'm doing a cut crease eye look, I really like to be focused and take my time because 
this can be a very tedious step in making or breaking your cut crease eye look so just take your time and stay focused now i'm just going to go back in with that blue that we used for the crease and I'm going to be blending that out on the outer corners of my lids. Now I'm going to be taking my blue eyeshadow from MAC in the color Electric Eel. And I'm going to be blending out the outer corners that we just did with that blue and I'm just going to place this onto the lid blending out the outer blue as well however this will be a lighter blue because we're transitioning from the darker royal blue to a lighter green color Going back in with my Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to be taking that metallic green and I'm going to be placing that on top of my lid using my NYX pigment base so that the color can stand out. I'm also taking a turquoise blue from the Take Me to Brazil palette as well, just to blend out the electric eel and the green eyeshadow that we just applied. I'm going in with my Too Faced glitter glue and my sparkling glitter in the color Aqua. I'm going to apply my glitter glue from Too Faced onto my lid using the same brush that I used to apply my shadows, followed by me placing the glitter on top of the lid. So now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go in with my Your Serene Advanced Repair. And I use this as my moisturizer. Then I like to go in with my NYX Angel Feel Face Primer. It's an oil-free face primer. This is what keeps my makeup matte. So I apply this all over my face. Now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Deep and I'm going to be concealing my under eyes as well as any dark marks I may have on my face, my chin area, as well as my Cupid's bow. And I'm going to be taking my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this concealer out. Now I'm going to be taking my two foundations, my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 355 Coconut and my Lancome in the color 520 Sue W. And I'm going to be mixing these two foundations and applying them all over my face.
Now that I'm done applying my foundation, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan, and I'm going to be applying this highlighting concealer under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, the center of my forehead, as well as under my cheek line, just to create my highlight. And again, taking my damp beauty blender to blend all of this concealer out. like a little extra highlight so I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand Deep and I'm going to be applying that under the eye on the bridge of the nose and my cupid's bow and then blending it out. Now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick and I'm going to be applying this under my cheekbones as my contour and blending it out with my Sephora brush. Going in with my NBA Cosmetics Gold Pigment, I'm going to be taking one of my Morphe brushes and applying that pigment on my lower lash line. Not in the lash line, but under the lash line. Going in with my Ruby Kisses Foundation Powder Palette, I'm going to be applying this powder all over my face to set my foundation. Going in with my Becca Cosmetics face powder in the color Dark Cocoa, I'm going to take that powder and just set my contour. Now I'm going in with my Morphe blush palette and I'm going to be taking that rich raisin color and applying it onto my cheeks as my blush. Taking my Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in the color Candlelight and I'm using this as my bronzer and I'm applying it to my nose as well as the top of my cheekbones. Topping that bronzer off with my Juvia's Place Highlighter in the color Nefertiti and I'm applying this on my nose as well as my cheekbones using my fan brush. Going in with my lips, I'm taking my NYX lip pencil in the color dark brown and lining my lips, followed by my Tarte lip paint in the color Rave, and then on top of that, I'm applying my NYX lip gloss in the color Ginger Snap. For a finishing touch, I'm taking my white eye pencil and I'm going to be applying this to my lower lash line just to give my eye a little pop. And there you have it, you guys, my recreation of Taylor Made Jane's blue and green cut crease makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it. See you next time.